Are you sure you want to do this? Don't make it harder than it already is. You're making it seem like we haven't come to an agreement already. So they don't take no care when they drive. Nice. Hello. Hello. Yo, the reception is bad in here. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. I can't hear you. Right, hold on a second. Let me go outside real quick, yeah? Ah, right, you know what? Hey, let me just go back in now, man, before she she starts complaining about the dishes. Wait, hold on. Why are you speaking I'm to me? I'm always like having that? to do the dishes. Why are you for speaking you? to me like that? What's wrong with you? I'm always having to do the dishes. For I didn't you. ask you to do it, did my I? Have you seen my keys? No. Wait. You were going to the gym? Yeah. I thought we were spending tonight together to watch DVDs. Why is it always about you? Why are you so selfish? How am I selfish? Whenever it is, I, I say, whenever I say, Roy, look, I want to go out with the guys, yeah? That's when you always complain. So I'm selfish because Every I time, every out. time. Every Ready? What do you think? What's that you got on? A dress. Where'd you get it from? H&M. The fact that you're so selfish. How am I it's selfish? always about you, isn't it? It's always about you, isn't it? I just feel like he doesn't appreciate me. He doesn't make me feel like I'm worthy. Like, small things like the dishes. I do no, 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 the don't, house don't, all not, the time. Not, I do the dishes all the time. No, hey, I was going to do the just, dishes, you didn't even give me a chance to even get to it. This happens You're always every breathing time. Down my neck every time. I cook dinner, we would eat dinner together, and he would leave the dishes. He wouldn't offer to say, okay, I'll clean the dishes because you cook dinner. He would leave me to do it. Right, Things sorry, like that's that. That's wrong. That's wrong. It's not about the fact of me not wanting to do the dishes. You just never listen. Never you're listen so, to you're what? So you breathe down my neck over every. Of I wouldn't have to breathe time. down your neck Take, if you didn't listen to me. Take for example the time I was going to go to the gym, all right? Yeah. You just started complaining over that. No communication. He didn't tell me he was going to the gym. We decided to have a DVD night together. I spent five minutes going through DVDs. You came in with your gym clothes. You didn't even tell me. No, no, don't. don't you you can't. did not tell we me. We spent Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What, what do you want? What do you, what else do you want? So DVD night's not important to you then? I didn't say it was then. And then the dress. He complained that I spent £30 on a dress. No, no, that's £30. wrong. £30, do you think that's a lot of money? Everyone, we have a goal. And she knows that we're saving for this. I hardly ever spend anything on myself. And the one time I did, because I wanted to go to my friend's wedding, you had a go at me. No, he shouted at me. It's you not about the money though, it's not about the money. It's about the fact that you're not communicating with me. We have a goal, we have an agreement. We know where we're going with this. No, every time I try to make it work, we always end up arguing. No, I just want a normal relationship to be honest. This is this. A normal relationship? I mean, what exactly is a normal couple? Yvonne, you need to give Jason a chance to explain himself. Don't be too fast to jump to conclusions about what he's thinking, what he's feeling, what he wants. Jason, you need to be on the same page as Yvonne. You say you spend time with her. Be the one to initiate this time with her. Perhaps you could choose the movies for once. Do it because you want to, not because you have to. Now, say for example, this tie represents your relationship. If you're worrying about arguing in a normal relationship, it's perfectly acceptable. And I guarantee if you separate because of your arguments, there is someone out there waiting to argue with you in your next relationship. What happens when you argue in a relationship is that you end up cutting breaks. And it's perfectly normal any of these times. Now, when you first got together, you were perfect in each other's eyes. But then after a while, you start noticing each other's imperfections. And after a while, it becomes overwhelming and you have to say something about it. Now, in this case, it was the dishes that initially led to the argument. Now, what happens when you argue is that you create a cut in the relationship. And what you have to do is talk about it, get back together, and tie a knot in the relationship. Now, you may have other arguments, and again, you may have to tie other knots. And just when you thought you were getting the hang of it, something else crops up, creating another argument and another cut in the relationship. And what you have to do once again is tie a knot. Now, from the outside, this looks untidy. However, 
These knots are slowly bringing you closer and closer together. Normal couples argue, that's fine. There's an issue and it takes you a long time to resolve these issues, but in your case, that's not very long at all. So, my advice to you would be to simply tie the knot.